All right, guys, this is actually a uh, an update on Remind, just like the title suggested. And this has probably been one of the videos that we've gotten the most comments on. Um, and it's been a hot minute since I've done one on Remind. Now, let's talk a little bit about Remind, what they are, and whether or not you have access to it as a realtor, right? So one of the things I want to say is with Remind, right? You have access to massive amounts of data. And if you're like me, I'm a part of the Stellar MLS here in Florida. I get their pro version for free. Now, all disclosure, I don't use Remind as much as I did in the past because I have software and systems that I use that gives me better data. Um, and there's other things I can do with those systems I can't do in Remind. But if you are looking to generate leads where you can be sending direct mail to, maybe do some email campaigns, upload uh, possibly as an audience in Facebook. Remind is a great place to start, um, especially if you're budget conscious. So what is Remind? Remind is basically a software that drills deep into geographical locations and gives you results based on multiple demographic touch points. So what I do, guys, when I log into my Stellar is I simply hit Remind. And then it brings me over to here. And I'm going to use this to, to show you how you can. And I dropped a video just a while ago on how to how to send postcards to a neighborhood that you just took a listing. So now I'm going to show you how to do it in Remind. Um, and then I'm going to show you a couple nuances within Remind on how you can generate leads. Right. So that's what we're doing today. Again, if you want to know if you have Remind, most of you, you probably already know if you have it or not. But just. Log into your MLS uh, and see if there is a link that says Remind. If you have the pro version, that's what I'm using. Now, if you're not quite sure how to do that, just simply reach out to your local MLS and ask them if you have this amazing software. All right, enough said about that. Um, so in this scenario, I've got a listing, right? And I want to be able to send a postcard to all of the homeowners in that neighborhood and let them know about my listing, right? Hey guys, my name is so-and-so with so-and-so broker, and I'm about to go live with your neighbor's home at 123 Granite Bay. And I wanted to share with you, if you have anybody that you know, family and friends looking to buy near you, please share this information. I'll include the website to the home on the postcard, blah, 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 right? Well, with Remind, I basically came in and I drew a uh, polygon around the neighborhood and what it did, guys, is it returned 106 results. Here they are, right? 106 results. And if I simply wanted to select all and then send them to cart, I'm going to create a cart. And let me just call this Harvest Homeowners. The subdivision is in, uh, it's a subdivision that has the word harvest in it. So I'll just remember this. I'm going to add the properties to the cart. Now, it's successfully adding them to the cart. So what do we do now, right? Now that it's doing it, I'm going to go over to the side to the carts. And it's going to bring up all of the different carts that I have created. And I believe with Remind Pro, you get 10,000 addresses a month, right? So here is the harvest cart. Now, I'm not going to show you individual, uh, like click into individual ones, because I don't want to share with you their information because because remind is going to go out and try to get like emails and phone numbers and all of that i don't want to get a, get too, too ahead of myself because that's additional marketing strategies i just simply want to hone in on how you can use this so guys if i simply come in here and i want to export the list i can literally export this to a csv and now i have a list where i can upload to any direct mail platform you guys follow me you know i use uh mailbox power um, you could you could maybe create a letter, a handwritten letter that you can print and then self-address the envelopes. In this case, there's 106 properties. It's going to run me. If I do this the old fashioned way where I print a letter that's specific to this home with a QR code to the website, it's going to run me roughly fifty three dollars in stamps and postage to get this letter out. What I would do is I would upload this to whatever direct mail company that you're using. I use uh, Mailbox Power and just simply upload the list and start them with a card that I created instantly and let them print, let them address, let them stamp. Uh, and I'm off and running. But guys, do you see how simple that was? Again, let me go back to uh, searches. And in this search, 
that was the neighborhood. But let's go out and do a little bit kind of a, a wider search. Let me get rid of that. So now let's say, you know what, I'm not necessarily looking for um, a, a homeowner uh, listing that I took in a neighborhood. Now, let's say I want to do some marketing to people that are going through financial distress, right? So what I'll do is I'll come out and just so you can get an idea of where I live, might as well just do this. Oh, went out too far. I live in Claremont, which is near Orlando, Disney World, Lake Buena Vista, SeaWorld. You know, so that's kind of a geographical farm of where I live. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, you know what? I want to market to people that may be going through some financial distress. So what I'll do is I'll come over here and I'll just draw like a like an area of my farm that I want to work. Right. We'll just call that right now. You'll notice over here. And let me move me again. There's forty five thousand results. Right. I don't have time to market to forty five thousand people that are generic. I'm looking for specifics. So. Over here on the left on Remind, you've got multiple demographic categories. Like I can separate and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I can say, you know what? I only want to deal with properties uh, minimum 450,000, right? I'm going to apply. Watch what happens. It went from 45,000 to 15,000, right? I can also talk with, you know, what equity they have because obviously if they want to list their home, they need to have equity. So let's say they have to have at least 50,000 in equity, which will pay closing costs, real estate fees. And maybe if they're in distress and need to sell, give them some walkaway money. All right. So that takes it down to 10,000 results. Then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say, um, I want to look at people that are in distress. Okay. People that have a Liz pendants, notice of default, notice of foreclosure, notice of trustee. Now guys, this list now in that geographical farm is going to give me Everybody that has a home 450 or higher, minimum $50,000 in equity, and literally are posed with the, the fact that they might be losing their home. Do you not think that that is a niche that you should be going after as a real estate agent? Well, with Remind, it will allow me to do that. Now, let me apply it. 13 results, right? 13. And I can go back in. And I can adjust the searches. So if I go back to, um, let's go back to property value. I can take this down to 300,000. Now we got 20. Let's just stick with those 20. So then I want to go ahead into advanced and I want to get rid of everything that's actively listed for sale right now. So I want off market properties, right? Let's see how many there are. 17, go back to those. So now, I'm only given results of homes that aren't listed right now, okay? So here are the homes right there. That are the homes. And so what's going to happen, guys, is I can literally do the same thing. I can select all. I can go ahead and put it to cart. I can save it, do whatever I want. And now I've got 17 results in this small little area of people undergoing a possible foreclosure. Can you not see how important that is, right? So let's now clear all this up and let's show you one more thing. Here's another thing you can use Remind for. Um, and this one, guys, I think would be really good because of the way the market is. These would be people that are absentee homeowners. They own a home. It's not their primary and it might be a rental, might be a vacation home. It, it doesn't matter, right? So let's go out a little bit more broad here and do the same thing. Let's go ahead and do a square right there, right? So you're going to see there's over 100,000 results. Let's go over here and see if we can find absentee. I'm looking for absentee in-state and absentee out-of-state. Let's apply. Now this number is going to drop down. So now I've got over 10,000 results. 10,000 plus people own a home here that's not their physical home. Let's go ahead now and check out the sell score. Now, this one, I never know how this is going to go. It could be where it's zero. It could be where I have a couple. But the reason I went to sell score is I wanted Remind to identify based on certain demographics of people that literally list their home for sale. It could be age, could be mortgage, could be uh, distress, could be... Um, you know, things they're searching for online, but Remind will let me differentiate on the highest probable sellers of those 10,000 plus. And guys, this is all live. I don't know what it's going to be, 
But if I want to go ahead and tell Remind, out of that list of 10,000, only give me the people that you say have a high intent to sell in the next 12 months. Watch this. Holy moly. So guys, I took it from 100,000 plus in that geographical location of absentee homeowners. They don't live there, but they own a property. And I brought it down to out of the 100,000, I've allocated and found 175 that literally are the hottest sellers on the market you need to be marketing to. And with that list, I can create the filter, save it, send it to the cart, name it absentee homeowner near Claremont, 8 9 2023. That way I know it's the absentee homeowner list in my farm. And I did it this month of 2023. And literally, I can start marketing to them via email campaigns and direct mail. Do y'all see how powerful that is? And guys, Remind gives you the ability to do every bit of that in system. Now, I could go ahead. Let's get rid of all of this data. And I'll show you a couple more things. Guys, over here on the left, again, are all of the different demographic and criteria tools. You could do property value. You could do home equity. Like you only want people to have X amount of equity. How about ownership time? You know, statistically, NAR says about every seven years, that's when homeowners are selling. They're either buying a larger home or moving down to a smaller. Well, you can take the data in any geographical location in Remind and separate it by the years of the mortgage. You can do sales score. I want people that have a medium, which would mean one to three years and low could be five plus years to sell. I like to do high only uh, because it gives me the least amount of leads with the highest concentrated intent to sell. Um, okay, absentee homeowners, which I just showed you. Uh, building type. Single family, condo, townhome. If you're in an area that has a lot of townhomes and you want to be the townhome queen or the townhome king of domination, it'll give it to you. <laughs> land use. Separate by um, utility, land, farm. All of that can be done in here. Now, mortgage rates. Let's say this one's kind of a non-issue today because, you know, buyers are getting mortgages in the 7% right now. But back in the day when mortgages were more in the three, three and a half percent, you could find people that had older mortgages at a higher rate, say 5%, 4.9, and re reach out to them and let them know that, you know, if they're thinking of selling, they can actually sell that home, lose that higher interest mortgage and get a smaller interest rate mortgage. But today, the mortgage rates, um, those are going to be a little bit of a nuance because quite frankly... Mortgages are just really high right now. But again, what an awesome tool to be able to do this. Last sale price. And I think, uh, there we go. Distress deals. You can look for cash buyers and more all inside of Remind. So guys, what did you think about that? Check and see if you have this amazing tool because it's zero cost and you can use it to generate some amazing opportunities in your business. I mean, heck, some of you guys are spending $1,000 a month, 500 a month, 300 a month on Facebook ads, which I'm fine with. Uh, but those are going to be more of a generic, non-demographic, non-criteria style lead. Uh, you're going to have to go through a lot of those to get to somebody that's interested in buying or selling. Here, you're going right to the potential source of the most demographic and criteria rich leads that you can find. Well, what did you guys think about that? Drop me some comments below. Let me know if you love this training. Is there something you would like to see as an agent? that we haven't trained on before. And as always, hit like, hit the bell, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and stay with all of us Ninja Maniacs on this journey to eliminate BS marketing and concentrate on what's working for real estate agents. As always, look below. I'll leave a link if you want to get on my calendar and find out what it would be like to partner with the Ninja himself and his team and find out all of the different strategies that we literally coach, teach, and preach on to our team, then jump on that calendar and find out what that would be like. And um, other than that, I appreciate you guys. Make sure you take a look at some of the videos we just dropped on postcard marketing uh, and other types of marketing because we put this content out for you guys to help you wade through the dangerous waters of crazy lead generation strategies. All right, that's it, guys. I appreciate you. And until I see you on the next video, um, out and get you some closings. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon.